all right so welcome back guys uh, this is a fresh start as you can see we have nothing but a simple uh, 2021 theme installed and if we can look in the back this is the wordpress backend these are the data we're going to be dealing with and uh, we go to appearance and this is the theme currently active and this is the one we're going to be downloading from github and in my hard drive this is where the installation is as you can see under the themes folder we have only 2019 and 2021 theme right and in the command prompt i'm exactly in that location so let's do a git clone grab this guy paste it here should not take too long that's it we already have it so now as you can see we have this theme going on right so let's go to the WordPress backend let's refresh all right so we have our theme here and let's activate okay so now let's go see what's happening let's refresh and that's it we have our theme loaded up for now let's go do an npm install to get all our javascript set up and everything so let's get started here Okay, where we are okay that's our theme and let's do an npm install all right so we have just installed all the npm libraries that are necessary so now the next step would be to clear the screen and try the gulp gulp watch i mean this is the one that is going to compile all our sas javascript and react so let's see all right so now this is going to be watching every change we make so let's uh, verify that for a little bit let's uh, make sure what the time is 19 10 58 which is 7 10 basically okay so let's make a change so that you can see this is being uh, monitored by gulp watch okay so we are right inside the theme folder so here we would just type Oh, dot and we are inside the theme and this is our theme on page react YouTube and let's go and let, make some small change here somewhere okay so this is the script file right everything is commented out we're doing it just to test so let's just disable this save it and let's go back and there you go last time was 1910 now it's 1918 and here it is 1918 right so that means this is working now next we're going to go ahead and start to go through the theme files and start putting them together one by one Okay, now that we have our theme here, all up and running, uh, we're compiling our code. Before we get started with the JavaScript, let's uh, quickly go over the configuration files, right? For example, uh, most uh, importantly, uh, we should look at two files here. One is the package.json. I mean, if you review this, you'll see how many things are actually in action. 
and this is what npm install at the beginning installs and the other one would be this gulp.js file this is where everything is set up so that we can compile our sas files and all the js files including the react right so i'm not going to go over too much detail since you are already going to have it so you can you know feel free to uh, examine them make them better what not but since our target is mainly to work with react so this is the one we're going to be focusing on at the moment so let's first test this one just by enabling this guy this line right here and right here we should see something once we refresh i mean it came from the previous time but we're going to do it again just to make sure yes this line is coming from this file right here this is going to be our central file this is how i organize my all my javascripts usually uh, i follow the es6 class system just to declare the main class called app and in the constructor of it i just uh, enable or instantiate all my javascript programs right i mean jquery whatnot but in this case we're going to be playing around with react and as we know uh, the latest react doesn't follow the class system so we're just going to have one simple file uh, this one is the first one we're going to enable and this is our app number one and this is a a, a class-based react app extremely simple one and we imported it here from modules react and react app theme one right so this would be our module folder right and react app theme one is this one right here this is a class-based react app an extremely simple one all it has is a few text and one button that launches this function and this function actually gives us an alert and the console.log right but let's go back to the original script so this is where we're just wiring this up first thing we do we go ahead and find this element id using simple javascript get element by id we put this in into this variable and then we check for this variable and once we find it then we call the react dom as you can see react and react dom everything is loaded here and call in that render function and within this id we call in this component which we just saw this guy right here and now let's go see our template where we can find the app theme one which is right here it's a very simple template and the name is react app one and we have some text here and underneath the header we have that id app theme one this is the one we're looking for when we call this line and the reason we're putting it through an if the if logic is because otherwise when you load other pages and this program doesn't find that id it's going to give you an error so every time when we try to load this we already always check for this specific id right so now that we have everything in place our template with the target id and our main javascript file which is ready to render a react component right so now let's go and see what we can do at the back end to make it show up in a page all right we're at the wordpress back end and here i've already created the react pages uh, let me just do a search Okay, there you go. React app one, two, and three, right? So let's open this up. And if you look here, 
we're actually attaching that template React App 1 to this page, React App 1, right? Let's go back to verify. This is our template, React App 1. And right here, we attached it with this page, and we're going to do an update. Once we do, we will go ahead and come here at the menu because as we know we have only the home here right so now let's get react app one page attached to the menu save it let's go back refresh and if i click on it boom look at that we have our first react app displayed on a template if we click on it it does the alert and the console.log right we know it's a very simple one so now next thing we're going to do we're going to go ahead and add the next one since we have our uh, number one attached so let's get rid of all these now let's uh, enable this guy save it let's find the template pretty much exactly the same now it just said template 2 right and it has the id app theme dash 2 the reason i'm doing it two different places just to show you that we can keep on going like this and have as many react apps as possible I mean every template right one template one app like that right so we have this id we check for the id and then we load this module here's the module and the location is react module react and then react app theme 2 right here module react and then react theme 2 it's pretty much the same so let's go back to wordpress backend and we actually have everything wired already just to make sure let's go back and react app 2 and as you can see here the template 2 has been loaded already just to make sure let's do an update and now we're going to go ahead and include this in the navigation react app 2 save it all right let's go back refresh and if i click here our second react app is now functional that's that'll be all for this video and on the next one we're going to go ahead and add our third app on another template Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button and the subscribe button. This will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week. Thanks again.